this shit out. Like, cause you ain't finna just run over me and I ain't trying to run over you. Listen, all the other that let me ask y'all, let me ask y'all, let me ask y'all. I got a big question. I ain't about to down Hey, look, I ain't bound down to nothing. I'm a grown ass man. I ain't bound down to no shit. Ask me a question. 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 Ask me a I always want to say men don't take accountability when we taking the accountability. Bro. I ain't, I ain't met, I ain't seen that one man on their phone that ain't took accountability for who he is and what he's done in his life. Like we don't, we don't, do, we don't even play them games. So do you feel an alpha woman? Do you feel an alpha woman could be with an alpha man and mesh? Because y'all seen my situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. See, it, it, it's not the fact that she's an alpha woman. I'm telling you, it's just like. When there's, I'm gonna tell you this way, Mendeza told me, and this shit real, man. When there's no love and there's no respect in a relationship, that shit over, right? That shit dead. That shit ain't got nothing to do with what you did or what you didn't do. That shit dead. Before a relationship ended, it had been ended already. It already had been ended before y'all say, let's shut it down. It already done been ended. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to just, I, I know I be it, cuz. I just don't play that game, cuz. I, I don't play the game with, oh, it's just a, a man fault. No, nah, cuz I ain't going off that. Well, it take, two, it take two to get together. It take two to get married. It take two to get divorced. It take two to, to fuck this shit up. And it take two to make it back right. That's a you fact. Know what I'm so I that all, that point, all that point fingers, like my granny told me when I was little, make sure you know that when you <laughs> point them fingers, it's one point back at your motherfucking dad. That's Believe that. that. That's a fact. Believe that. Go. So, so do y'all... I think that is a, this. Let me ask y'all this, cause I, I this is where I fucked up at, right? Mm -hmm. Do y'all? How do you do this? Way I don't know, bro. This is the hardest part for me. How, like, cause I think I got a problem. My problem is, it's so many beautiful women in this world. Like, how do you just give all of your attention and emotions and everything to one woman? You just gotta, you gotta the be ready for that shit. You gotta hard. be ready. How you gotta you be. You got to be ready. You got to be ready hard, mentally bro. for that shit. You got to be ready mentally for that shit. You got to, it's like saying, I'm going to go to the gym. It's like, you got to, like, you know, you want to go to the gym every day. You going. Like, ain't nothing stopping you. Like, you really got to wake up and be like, I love that lady. Like, I want to do everything for that lady. I want to be there up and down. Like, I want to be there on, you know what I'm saying? For everything. You know what I'm saying? You really got to want to love that lady and do everything in the world you can to make her happy. And that's see, that, and that's what I learned. That's what I learned. Now look, I'm gonna ask you know what's scary about that. One thing like that the wrong person is scared. That's what I'm scared of. Nah, but that's what, but that's what life about though. That's what living life about. This motherfucker here is a journey, an up and down journey. You gonna win some, you gonna lose some. Ain't no rule. Like that's what I learned. I get that will help me this time. Get 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 kind of get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know what I'm saying. Get kind of like you know so, so, so at know. the end of the day, it's like, you got to go through your shit. My nigga, like, you pick the person, and whatever the person give you in return, if, whether it's some bullshit or some great shit, you got to deal with that. And that's how, that's how I run with it. Like, it, it, it going to hurt. But, I mean, would you rather hurt staying with the motherfucker that's disrespecting you and fucking you over, or would you rather just oh, hurt, hurt, hurt in pain? I'd rather you hurt in peace. And that's you what, know I, what I, look I heard. It. I, I was in peace, in pain. Fuck hmm. you. You feel me? Okay, Eric, can you see? Hurting. So I'm, I'm gonna be honest. My my issue, yes, I am up and down because that detachment process is crazy. Like being used to being around somebody, doing everything with them, living in the household, sharing cars, going to eat. Now I'm just like, damn, I gotta fend for myself. Yeah. What do I do? Eat. I, all right, go to the gym. Now I'm I'm sitting here and I'm trying to watch Instagram stories or trying to find happiness and other stuff. It confuses you, and then you 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 can't sleep. You can't eat. It's a bad. It's not a good process. It's not a good feeling. And um, to touch back to what you were saying about how do you find the right one, sometimes, bro, you got to slow down and regroup because the more girls, the more options you have, the harder it is, it is to find the right one because you always going to be looking for a sense of perfect. What one doesn't have, the other one has. What one could do, the other one can't. Kurt told me that. You. Kurt told me that. Then you Kurt confuse because I've been through that. I'm like, yo, this one ass is fat. This one is slim, but she do this. This one is smart. She can teach me. This one has money. And you'll be lost in the yeah. source, and you'll be on yeah. the cycle for the rest yeah, of your life. So you got to really... That's why, that why I ain't really going out here. I ain't going out here really trying to, you know what I'm saying, just jump in nothing like that, bro. Like, uh, she can get she can get missed and screwed, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
you really got to know who the fuck you is, man. You got to love yourself first, for real. Like, you got, because once you know yourself, you love yourself, you're going to know what the fuck you want out of woman. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You're going to know what exactly. you really want. And you got to know what the girl, what the woman want. Like, what do you want? You know what I'm saying? What you want, baby? Like, it ain't just about me. It's about you, too. What you want? You feel right. I got to here. If I can, let me tell you what I think. This is me, my opinion. First of all, I think a lot, a lot of the women today got so many girlfriends that's in ear directing them in directions, right? And when you really look at the girls that's guiding them, they single, they don't have, they ain't got no man. They, they got a couple of dudes they messing with here and there, but they ain't got that one. So then they try to keep them from being happy too. And, and, and the next thing is, you know, people be like, you know, I seen one person say Kirk giving relationship advice and he's some, some, some. First of all, Kirk been married 23 years going on. Hell yeah. Years. And I had a bump. Hell hell yeah. Yeah. I'm not perfect. And I did fuck up in my relationship at one point in time when me and Rashida were talking about split. And his <laughs> wife was real and stayed down, Jack. Right. Stayed stayed down. down. But this is what's crazy. So look, I'm Rashida. not used to say, hey, oh yeah, well, me and Rashida was going to break up. So that's why. Nah. I should have thrown my ass down too. I should have never got into the shit I got into too. I should have took my time out, find myself, and chill the fuck out. But when people be talking, I be like, yo, how long you been in a relationship? Like when I go in a room and go to the conferences with Rashida being around all these women, I be like, how many of y'all been with, with one single guy for five years and never mess with nobody else? Raise your hand. It's gonna be a, like a little bit of them. When I ask how many people have been in a relationship for 10 years, only had sex with one guy in 10 years, you might get two hands. That's I don't, it's it, it free, you lucky. I'm like, yo, don't even let me say how many of y'all been in a relationship for 15 or 20. I was married for 23 years with a one fuck up. I have, you know, and people be like, they love to judge you. See, this is the world yeah. and they got to say about you. But, but Ain't nobody been having that one person, one girl, or one guy for 23 years. So I ain't perfect. I never said I was. Did I fuck up before? Yes, I did. Was I wrong? Yes, I was. Am I sorry for it? Yes, I am. Yeah. I, I'm truly sorry for what I brought to my family, what I did to Rashida, what I did in all. I was not right about it. But you know what? To this day, people always got something to say. But I got a lot. Of, I get so much support from women, guys who like, yo, you help me keep my relationship. You, you get support get from real motherfuckers, yeah. like, because yeah. if you, because if you, because if you're an idiot, if you're an idiot, you you you'll be on another side. Because only a, a idiot would still look at somebody in a negative way once they shit is together. Like you're a fucking idiot. Like I don't, even, I would, I would never look at nobody like, oh, you're still a bad person, and your wife is still there, and y'all are blossoming right now as a couple. Like so I'm, I'm still, you. I'm still gonna stick on that. Bro, hell, that's bro. a like, hater. That's not you a great. You a great nigga, Kirk. You a great nigga, bro. <laughs> Your wife is a great woman, man. Y'all got a good job. She's good and solid. I, I, I idolize that, me personally. And I always tell you that because 23 years is strong and to go through the hardships y'all went through. And for her to thug it out, that's real. Oh, and then yeah. you're on TV at the same time. But so you know all the opinions and shit. That is crazy. But, but what happened to, to Death Do Us Part? That means if she's sick, if I ain't or if she's on a bed or if I'm hurting, you, you know, you got to fight for what you believe in. Yeah. Like, I ain't a little bit of situation. To stop me from keeping my family and my wife and being in the house with my kids, that ain't fighting for mine. Yeah. You know, but let me say this just to say this with haters and everything haters, lovers, people who love to see what you do and everything, right? When I I watched the movie and I it, I it just stuck with me from that moment. When I watched them crucify Jesus and bang nails and hang him to a cross, if these people walking the earth will kill the perfect person like Jesus. What do you think they'll do to us? They're going to always crucify us. We can never satisfy them. They killed Jesus. That's a fact. So we can never be anything they want us to be. You got to be what you want to be for you and your family. People, listen, I love people. I love to help. I love to get great advice. But the world is made of tearing people down. And, you know, like Sierra and Eric, Scrappy and Bambi, you know, and even with you, Eric, I told like Sierra, she's a great person. And I told you, I think y'all should try to work it out. I, I hate to, you know, Scrappy, I told you, I hated to see you have to do what you do, but I had to check myself. When you said something to me, you was like, yo, but what about my mental health? What about how I feel? Yeah. What about how I feel like I'm being driven crazy? And you what know, about the stuff I did? What about the stuff that was done to me? You feel me? What about the stuff that was done to me? What about me? Yeah, like, like, 
Hey, the stuff that we don't talk about, the stuff that people don't hear every day. You know what's crazy? Crazy women stick together with every single thing. Yeah. That's why I'm like with this yeah. brother Wednesday. I needed bad. us to come on and talk about it because we got a it's voice bad. too. We never get to speak. That shit you know bad. Stuff I've been through that I don't share. I could have went public and violated. I'm not that dude. I'm not petty. I'm, 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 that's not me. So it's like I never get to talk. I'm with the girls stick together. It's not fair. You know what I'm saying? And I actually went ahead and did therapy, and she didn't want to do therapy. It's like now I'm looking at everybody yeah. judging me for things. It's not true. It's your shit. It's not good. It's and let's start, let's start sticking together then. I just wanted to say that. We got to create a community of people that stick together, bro. Let's stick together. Like, we got to start riding for each other. We can't yeah. leave Scrappy in the chop block by himself. We can't leave you on the chop block by himself. But these girls ain't going to leave each other hanging. They're going to stick by each other. But let's so do what it. we got to do well, is not talk about we got to stick it, by each really other. We got to really do it, though. We can talk about it all day, but we got to really do it and execute. 